the suspense mounts. Our judges are in their room casting their final votes, and I think this would be a perfect opportunity to introduce all of you to our 2015 competitors. So I'm going to call your name and ask you to please stand up and be acknowledged by this audience here in Auckland. Jungmin Choi from South Korea. Now I'm going to say this name knowing that I said his brother's name by accident at the beginning of the concert. I mean, it's, after saying it for two years straight now, it does kind of trip off the tongue, but I want to make sure I acknowledge Timothy Choi of Canada and apologize to their mum too. Anja Filochowska from Poland. Yi Jung Huang from Taiwan. Sung Hee Ji from South Korea. Mimi Jung from the US. Su Young Kang from Australia. Yu Eun Kim from South Korea. Marie Christine Klettner from Austria. Yune Ko, Mari Lee, Eugene Lee, and Christine Lim, all from South Korea. Ashley Park from the US. <laughs> Leah Petrova from Bulgaria. <laughs> Ellie Sue from the US. <laughs> Yabing Tan from China. and Natsubi Suboi from Japan. You all have bewitched us for the last couple of weeks with your talent and your artistry. We applaud your unwavering ambition and as you strive for protection, perfection, knowing that it's an elusive attainment. We know that your time with us in New Zealand has been a very small period of your ongoing development, but we certainly hope that you've enjoyed the experience of being here as much as we've enjoyed having you here. We look forward to following your careers. In fact, we've put some investment into our website last year and have tracked down all of the competitors since we started in 2001 so that we can applaud their achievements. So that's 130 and now we'll be adding you to that. So given the great lengths that all of them have gone, we're expecting marvelous things from you all too. Now I'd like to thank some sponsors, if I might, that make this possible. Michael Hill International, the ANZ, PricewaterhouseCooper, and Villa Maria, who have been with us since year zero. We thank you for your unwavering support, and to our new major sponsors, Kensington Swan and Wellington International Airport. <laughs> thank you to our competitor and our prize sponsors, your support allows us to invite and appreciate and reward these amazing talents. To the 40 host families in Queenstown and Auckland, thank you so much for going the extra mile for your hospitality and for showing our visitors what it means to be a Kiwi and welcome them into your home. And to those crazy Queenstown ones that jumped on an airplane the morning after they found that their billet had been put forward to the next round, 
thank you for making the effort to fly up to Auckland and be here tonight. I'd like to acknowledge the five panelists that waded through the 150 applications. It was a superhuman task, and we acknowledge your impeccable integrity and perseverance to identify these 18. Justine, Dean, Vesa, Wilma, I know you're all here except Vesa tonight, and Andrew from the APO. While we're talking about personnel with stamina, I'd like to acknowledge our collaborating artists in Queenstown, Deirdre Irons, and Sarah Watkins, and composer Kenneth Young. In Auckland, Ashley Brown, Michael Houston, and the APO. Thank you so much for your contribution. May I make a personal thank you to the Board of Trustees who bring wisdom and common sense and heart to this organization and to allow me to lead this somewhat precocious and headstrong teenager of a competition as we continue to grow. Thank you for your unwavering support. To the many faceted and skilled people that helped deliver this event, those who looked after the artists and their instruments, Mel, John, and Dick Panting, and to those who are behind cameras and at computer screens that are shouting out what we're doing around to the rest of the world, Campbell, Matt, Yi Yang, Adrian, and our new friend from the Violin Channel, Jeffrey, thank you so much for helping tell everybody what we're doing. I'd also like to mention the wonderful collegiality we enjoy from the Auckland Philharmonia. Barb Glasser, I see your board has all come out to support this tonight, and that's incredibly appreciated. To a T, all of your team members and musicians have really gone the extra mile, and we're grateful for that level of support and friendship. Thank you. But it's the genuine love of the violin from one of New Zealand's favorite sons that started all of this years ago. So, Michael and your bride of 50 years, congratulations on your recent anniversary. <laughs> we thank you, we thank your family for allowing us to do this year after year and well into the future. Now, I shamelessly stole a speech from Vanessa Van Uden, the mayor of Queenstown, because I thought it was hilarious. So, to Michael and Chrissy Steenhild, who know all about backswing, backspin, green fees, green sleeves, slow legato, pizzicato, fountains, countins, culture vultures, tasteful sculptures, big bulldozers, great composers, court constructors, and mad conductors, we thank you for your inspiration and for pushing us to achieve great heights. Will you please join us? Thank you. Um, I, I can't really let this opportunity go, first of all, without thanking um, the person that's run this with such passion for 15 years. It was 16 years ago when we signed an agreement uh, to run this amazing event. And um, Anne Rodder, you are one of the most inspirational women that I've ever met. And what you've done for this competition and the force and the energy and the tenacity you've done to build it to such a strong event is an enormous credit to you 
and New Zealand should be proud of you. Thank you very much, Shen. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to say something to the competitors, which I do at each one of these ceremonies. And um, we had a talk in Queenstown, and we talked about goal setting and how this was only part of a journey. And that um, basically you're at base camp on Everest, and we talked about 30-year goals and having a vision of where you want to go. And I hope you're going to help me with that. And when you get on the plane tomorrow, I hope you've got enough time to be able to write down what you really want to be in life and set the seed for something really great. Some of you have been more fortunate than others at this stage of the competition. Some of us have seen a glimpse of the, through the clouds and have seen a clearing and seen the top of Everest. And others of you haven't but it's irrelevant because the journey's long. It's very long. And over that time, greatness will be achieved, I'm sure, in any of you. Whatever your wishes, whatever your desires, and wherever you want to go, each 18 of you are capable of achieving anything. I applaud you for what you've done and brought to us. You've enriched our lives. I've had a most amazing time, personally, in Queenstown, hearing you from Bach to Paganini, right through to the stages here, has been the most memorable time. I just loved every minute of it. I loved every one of you. I judged every one of you as a winner. I got it all wrong. <laughs> but it's irrelevant. As I say, the journey's long. Each of you has different personalities, different traits, different feelings different looks, different demeanor, different dress sense, all these things. But when you add them all together, they're quite important. But there's only one thing that's not in more important than what you are, and that's you. And you have the ingredients, each one of you, of individuality, which can achieve anything. We talked about your past generations, all the people that have made you what you are in your DNA, and the success is what you are. And I'm amazed at the talent that you have. You're very, very gifted. You're on a journey that has no end because music has no end. There's no climax, there's no end to it because it's an infinite thing. Music is the one gift in the world that we all have that is infinite. There's only one language. It's written in one language. It's all written in notes. Whereas other languages are written in all different languages. But music is one language and one simple thing. And classical music and what you do, to me, is the eclipse of beauty of life. I think it's absolutely amazing what you do. And thank you very much. Um, I don't know if I've got much else to say. I must have something else to say. I'll just think about it for a minute or two. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I did have some notes but I've lost those. No, I've got them here. Let me just see if there's anything I've forgotten. All right. Well, all I would like to say is, and finishing off, that maybe the 13th of June, 2015, Auckland, New Zealand, was the start for you of a new life that brings great happiness and great fun and great pleasure for the rest of your life. Good luck, and thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. again. <laughs> I'm hoping that the judges have just about concluded their voting, but in the meanwhile, there's a couple of prizes that we'd like to bestow to violinists that were not part of the international panel of judging. So one of those is the use of a modern Italian instrument by a maker named Riccardo Bergonzi. And after consideration, we decided that what we wanted to do this year 
was give it to a promising University of Auckland student who shows enormous talent and is going to really, really benefit from a fine instrument. So, Hanny Lee, would you please come and greet us and pick up your violin? Hattie Lee had just come to the stage to pick up the violin. It was given to her by Sir Michael. And back in December, when our panel was looking at all of our applications, there were two incredibly strong ones that stood out. So I would like to warmly congratulate Australian Markigan Malinchenko. On the stage now, he's one of the development prize winners. He played for St. Queenstown, shaking hands with those on stage. And the New Zealander is doing triple duty tonight. Amalia Hall, who helped her sister deliver the pre-concert talk, and is our New Zealand development prize winner. We're so incredibly proud of you, Amalia, and thank you for playing in the violin section tonight. <laughs> Now, Maria Hall comes forward to stand by the rest of the people on the stage. Alexander Reed was one of our competitors in 2009, weren't you? So another one who's <laughs> from the family who's coming to play in the orchestra. Welcome to New Zealand again. Keep looking over here. Are there several judges standing behind that curtain? Dr. Lloyd Williams, the chairman of the jury. Seems the music won't be necessary because the judges are here. Pierre Amoyal from France. <laughs> Helena Paul from New Zealand. Susie Park from Australia, Jungkook Kim from South Korea, Sergio Swartz from Romania, Joseph Lin from the US, and Benjamin Schmidt from Austria. Dr. Lloyd Williams, Chairman of the Jury. Going? Hello. Hello. It's been my great pleasure to work with this highly talented team of international judges. They're absolute gems. I can't thank them enough for their professionalism, their passion for their art, their dedication to the task, and for making my job so easy. Thank you very much. The judges, in complying with the rules of the competition, must not discuss competition performances with each other. And they haven't done that during the course of the competition, but boy, I bet they do after tonight. <laughs> They, of course, haven't been able to discuss anything with the competitors either. Can you imagine how difficult that would be for these consummate performers to keep their opinions to themselves <laughs> and their hands in polite applause mode? But they've managed perfect deadpan. Thank you. I'd like to also acknowledge the Herculean task of those judges who earlier this year managed to reduce the 158 applicants to just 18 finalists. Uh, Vesamati Lepinen, Andrew Beer, Wilma Smith, Justine Cormack, and the competition's artistic advisor, Dean Olding. Thank you. Not much more than a week ago, these judges arrived in Queenstown from around the globe to listen to those 18 finalists in Queenstown. So as a result of the Queenstown round, six semi-finalists were chosen to perform in the chamber music round with Ashley Brown and Michael Houston. And that happened on Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Many of you were there. And we've just heard the winners resulting for that round. I should add that voting has been cumulative. So the judges considered the chamber music round, tonight's performances, 
along with the performances heard by the finalists in Queenstown. Voting at each stage has been by secret ballot, with a competitor requiring a majority vote of four in order to advance to the next round. Well, without further ado, the results. The best performance of the New Zealand work by Kenneth Young was competitor number two, Jung Min Choi, <laughs> South Korea. Winner of the Chamber Music Prize, Yune Ko from South Korea. Sixth place with a prize of $1,000 in the Michael Hill International Violin Competition goes to Marie Christine Kletner of Austria. Fifth place, with a prize of $2,000, goes to Ellie Sue of South Korea. Fourth place with a prize of $3,000, Natsumi Suboy, Japan. Third place, with a prize of $5,000, goes to Timmy Choi, Canada. <laughs> Second place with a prize of $10,000, goes to Yunai Ko, South Korea. <laughs> and I guess you've worked out that first prize $40,000, a recording contract on New Zealand Atoll, Atoll label and winner's tour in 2014 and a suit from Working Style. <laughs> if it's a boy, I, it says here, a gown by Kerry Nathan. <laughs> but I'm sure Working Style would... <laughs> thank you, Working Style. But thank you, Kerry Nathan. That, of course, goes to Su Yong Kang, Australia. Young Kang now on the stage and shaking hands with everybody, Sir Michael, Lady Hill. She's still chatting to Sir Michael and no doubt well, Sir Michael's giving her something else, I think. I think it just might be a piece of precious jewellery. From what I can see, give, being given to her by Christine Lady Hill and putting it around her neck now. So there's another extra that wasn't on the prize list. I'll just butt in here a second to say that this is a gorgeous pendant that's been designed by Christine Hill, golden diamond. So a very personal gift 
very personal congratulations. Which is now being put around Suyang's neck, standing there in this night blue gown. And perhaps she'll come along here and talk to the judges, which are nearest to me. I'm going to interrupt, sorry, but Suyun's also won the audience prize, so thank you for your participation. <laughs> Very popular win. So, oh, how about that, says Sir Michael. And now Su Yong Kang is coming across and shaking hands with all the judges. Pia Amoyal, Lena Cole, one by one. by all accounts, a very popular win of this Michael Hill International Violin Competition. Well, I think it's about time we left the competition, unless Anne has something if to say. If you missed any of the proceedings and want to revisit any of the videos, please go to our website. There's also a gorgeous gallery of photographs so you can relive tonight and the last week. And we will see you back here in 2017. Good night.